Hello, and welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the most intriguing stories captivating our society. Before we get started, remember to subscribe, hit that bell notification button, and feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Today, we are taking a closer look at recent, surprising developments in the Senso Maiwa murder case. This case has left many in shock, continuing to reveal twists and turns even years after that tragic night. Senso Maiwa was a beloved South African soccer star known for his talent on the field and warm personality of it. Tragically, his life was cut short in 2014 in what initially seemed to be a robbery gone wrong at his girlfriend Kelly Kumalo's house. The initial reports described a chaotic scene where gunmen allegedly stormed in and attempted a robbery, resulting in Senso's death. Since then, the case has remained unresolved, capturing both national and international attention as fans and family have continued demanding justice. But this case has grown more complex, with new details constantly reshaping the narrative around what truly happened. Each time the public thinks they have a clearer picture, new allegations emerge, raising questions about motives, possible cover-ups, and the reliability of various testimonies. The recent allegations from Zandi Kumalo, Kelly Kumalo's sister, have taken the case in another unexpected direction, adding complexity to an already tragic story. Zandi's allegations are both personal and serious. She claims Senso Maiwa's widow hired the assassins who killed him. Her account comes not from a distant observer but from someone who was present that night, adding a deeply personal angle to an already intense case. Zandi's words have sparked media coverage, debates, and speculation, as people try to make sense of what she shared and what it could mean for the investigation. In an interview with ENCA, Zandi spoke with journalist Silendelo Masikain, sharing her beliefs about the case and focusing on accountability. According to Zandi, those currently facing charges for Maiwa's murder are indeed the right suspects, and she believes the law is pursuing justice. She also defended her sister Kelly, stating Kelly should not be blamed. Zandi's stance suggests that there are other figures who may be responsible, hinting at a web of lies and betrayal that could have led to Senso's death. These revelations have left the public with questions. Why would Zandi make such serious accusations, and what implications could this have? Her statement that Maiwa's widow was involved in hiring the assassins adds an entirely new dimension, making the story harder to piece together. With her claims, we are forced to re-examine the relationships, tensions, and possibly hidden motives among those closest to Senso. Zandi's defense of Kelly only complicates matters further, implying the attention on Kelly may be misplaced. The relationship between Kelly and Zandi Kumalo has also drawn significant public interest. As sisters, their bond is strong, and their shared experience of being involved in this high-profile case has likely brought them closer. Zandi's support for Kelly highlights the influence of family loyalty, while raising questions about objectivity in such a charged situation. Despite the media scrutiny and the public search for someone to blame, Zandi remains steadfast in her belief in her sister's innocence, hoping for the truth to emerge. Zandi's accusations come at a crucial time in the trial, as the court examines evidence, witness testimonies, and claims. Her statements could potentially shift the investigation, prompting law enforcement to look closer at other individuals previously not under suspicion. If her claims prove accurate, the consequences could be significant, not only for those involved but also for public trust in the justice system. This case has been marked by delays and evolving narratives, making it one of the most challenging investigations in recent South African history. These accusations also highlight broader social context around the case. Senso Maiwa was not just a soccer player, he was a symbol of hope and pride. His untimely death struck a deep chord across South Africa, leaving a wound that has yet to heal. In a society where issues of crime and accountability are prevalent, the unresolved nature of Senso's murder is a painful reminder of the nation's challenges. Public reaction to Zandi's statements has been mixed. 
Some interpret her words as a brave stand for the truth in a case marked by secrecy. Others are skeptical, questioning her motives and timing. In a case as complex and emotional as this one, it's difficult for the public to discern the truth amid tragedy, betrayal, and an ongoing quest for answers. As we wrap up, it's clear that Senso Maiwa's story is far from over. The search for truth continues, and each development reveals the complex relationships surrounding this tragedy. Zandi Kumalo's recent accusations add another chapter to this saga, and this chapter will be analyzed and debated as people seek justice for Senso. Thank you for joining us. If you found this discussion insightful, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for our next update. Let us know your thoughts on Zandi Kumalo's accusations. Do you think they will change the course of the trial? Or is this yet another twist in an already complex case? We look forward to hearing your thoughts.